Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you. Um, I'm really happy to be back on the show. I had a lot of fun last time. And when they asked me to do the show this time, I was psyched because the timing is perfect. I have a bunch of tour dates coming up. I'm going to a bunch of cities. And so I mentioned that to the producers backstage. But then they said, don't mention the, don't mention the cities. Just, you know, if you could just do comedy and not like a commercial, you know, don't come out here and like sell myself. I was like, <laughs> absolutely. I'm a comedian. I'm here to do jokes. That's, you know, I have jokes. I'm excited to tell them. And I just said, just to make sure, what you're saying is don't go out there and say, um, for example, I'm going to be in Atlantic City on February 8th uh, at the Hard Rock, you know, casino or something. Something like that. And they said, exactly. Don't say that. Just do jokes. And I said, I won't say that. I got it. So that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. All right, cool. I'm into the jokes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's... That's the easiest applause break I ever got, so thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, I had great holidays. It was a nice break. I had a really good Christmas this year. Um, Halloween's my favorite, though. Halloween, yeah, that's my favorite holiday. I love Halloween because I think that's the only holiday you don't have to celebrate with your family, which is nice. You, know? you never hear, like, what, what are you doing for Halloween? I'm like, oh, I got to fly back east and go trick-or-treating with my parents. That sucks, yeah. They got a divorce, so I got to bring two different costumes this year. So, that's tough. <laughs> I wonder if leopards look trashy to other animals. <laughs> I'm kind of like, oh. You're going to wear that? Wow, okay. It's uh, head to toe. Wow, okay, very bold. Very bold. <laughs> Sorry. I got a dry mouth. I just got it. Sorry about that. Take <laughs> I feel better. Sorry. I don't know if it's nerves or whatever. I just dry mouth. Some animals, their name is really interesting because it tells you how to behave when you're around the animal. Like, um, like the duck. You know, it's like duck. Like if it's flying low, it'd be like duck. Watch out. You know, duck. <laughs> Or a bat. It's like, bat it. You know, get rid of it. Bat it away. <laughs> the badger, it's just like badger it, bother it. You know, mess with it. But some are tricky, like the lion. Like, do not. <laughs> yeah. And the blowfish, definitely. <laughs> That's a trick. That's a trick. I went to a restaurant last week that was farm to table to toilet. I can't remember my next, I'm sorry, I can't remember my next bit. This is, let me just check my notes, it's embarrassing. I just. <laughs> no. It's maybe on the other, it might be the other side, I don't even know. I think it's in my other pants, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think I remember anyway. I, I was at a dinner party a couple weeks ago and I had to go to the bathroom. And I asked him, hey, can I use your bathroom? He said, yeah, it's right there. It was right next to the dining room, which, you know, that kind of sucked, but it's okay. Um, so I went in there and I was pretty confident. I don't know about you, but you know, I'm old enough where I usually know how to turn on the light in the bathroom. And sometimes I'll even go in, in the dark and I, I'm like, I got this, you know? So I went in and I closed the door and then it was dark for a long time because I was, like fondling the wall and I couldn't find, I couldn't find the switch. And I finally gave up and I came out. The switch was outside the bathroom. It turned out it was outside the bathroom. I'm just, what kind of control freak has the light switch outside the bathroom? Is that like, if someone's taking too long, you know, you're like, okay, come on, show's over. Let's wrap it up. It's just number one's in my house, right? Yeah. I feel hot. I feel hot. I don't, it's the studio lights. You know, you're backstage and it's, it's not that hot. So I just want to, just want to take my jacket off. Sorry. Oh, yeah, thanks. So, but now I'm holding a jacket. This is awkward. So let me just hang it up. It's ridiculous. OK. That's good. Um, the other day, this, uh, this woman said to me, uh, she asked me what mansplaining was. And I was like, well, it's nice try. <laughs> I have no idea. I just. I like sports bars because they, 
they collect all the people I don't want to hang out with and they put them in one room. <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right. Hey, Reggie, I didn't even say hi. Like, how have you been? What's going on? Oh, man, I think you're going to do so well in Northampton, Massachusetts on April 9th. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, my shoe. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. If you add the word adult to uh, anything, if you put it in front of it, it makes it sound like sexual, you know? It makes it kind of, it's kind of sexy. Um, like adult books, adult films, adult actors, but not diapers. Diapers is the one. Um, doesn't have the same ring to it, you know? Like, I just want you to know I am uh, wearing adult diapers. Is that good? Well, let's just say I have a little trouble controlling myself. <laughs> Soon I'll be moving into an adult facility. <laughs> oh, my, sh my shoe's untied. I, this is crazy. I don't want to have, I don't want to trip up here. Let me just, I'm sorry, I just got to tie my shoe real quick. <laughs> cool, all right, great, all right, I'm almost done. My biological parents get mad at me when I call them that. <laughs> I have an L-shaped sofa at home, uh, lowercase. <laughs> That's it. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. He's on the one